How about now? There we go. I don't know why, but um, it decided to reset like the default of my mic because it decided, oh yeah, your mic is going to be uh, your speaker. And I'm like, no, I don't have headphones plugged into that thing. Don't do that. And it must have messed up the settings for the mic as well when it did that. Let me double check real quick then if this program's using it properly as well. It is not. There we go. All right, but good. We fixed that before we continued on, but everything should be working now. Into the game. That way the menu music can stop blaring out all of our ears. All right, so we've just fought Arya. I love how we could just leave at this point instead of following Geist, because like the monolith is there. We could just go home. Though it seems... I want to wait a second. I want to see if the time actually changes or if it's actually stuck there. Proceed to the room where Geist waits. Actually, yeah. Can I leave since there's a monolith? Right, wrong button. No. No, I cannot. Okay, so it is in fact forcing me to continue on. And then I also cannot eat. I really hope we're not going to have to, like, fight or something, because, like, do you see my health? Also, wait. Oh, because Arya's back in the party. You, you notice I don't have party members again, it looks like. Yeah, every time they decide, hey, we're uh, throwing someone in and out of the party. Oh, hello. Yes, edit party. Edit the party? What? Edit party. I'm hitting the button. What? Are you... Okay, so I'm just being forced to have no party? Is, is that what's happening? Okay, I have no party now. Alright, Geist has decided that we're in control now. Of, uh... Everything. What falls from the heavens. Are we still gonna drop the thing? Yes, we have to enter this room alone. Look at the cutscene. Us alone. Do you see it? You humans seem to find this globe beautiful. Us, it's just another astronomical body. Nothing more than an ark for humanity to live on. Now then, it is time for you to make the decision. Which species of humans should live within Heaven's Shell and advance their kind into the future? I will remind you that there are two options. You are wrong. Your first option is the Canes. They are a lost race who rose and fell alongside the planet Earth during the Common Era. Since the Regaia program was their creation, you Ables are their children, in a sense. The other option is the Ables. That is your kind. Is it my kind? I woke up from a coma. Drive by. <laughs> Thanks, Dasset, for the drive by. <laughs> Have a good day, Dasset. <laughs> they are a race that evolved from Regaia and are almost biologically identical to the Canes. I love that we're getting like a whole summary right now because a lot has happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you must already know enough about them. I mean, yes, we've explored most of the world in chapter three. I will make it clear one last time. You can only choose one. Could the Canes survive or the Ables? Am I truly an able? Or am I something else? Make your choice on this console. Make your choice? My choice is to hit things. Oh, uh, you're not gonna let me hit things? I was just gonna break the machine. The Heaven Shell. Who to extinguish for the future of the human race? Please make your selection, the Necro. Excuse me? Bruh. No. No. Uh, see, my personal opinion, right? Yes, the canes are at the end of their hibernation period. 
and your vibes increase. So like, yeah, the canes are at the end of um their hibernation hibernation cycle. But like, could we just throw the Ables into the hibernation cycle while we continue to try to solve the situation? Like that that's my solution is we can just keep stalling for time. <laughs> Swap the humans. The Ables can go back into, or the Ables can go into the hibernation units for the first time ever. So that way we can put them back later. We, we can fix this later. We don't have to give up. I don't know which one to choose. I'm also glad we saved where we did, because uh, that means we should have a manual save. So if there's like actually a difference after this point, I could uh, explore that. I don't know what to pick. I think we're gonna go for the apples, the ables, just because that goes against the flow of what you'd expect. Ables get revenge on Cain now. How about that? All right, you choose the Regaians. This decision means that the Lost Gaians will be wiped out. Do you agree to wipe out the people of Lost Gaia? No, I don't. What are you doing? Stop wasting time and decide. I really don't know if this is a decision that I can make. Is there nothing else we can do? Okay, I can't leave that way. I, I just mostly wanted to explore the room. Can, can I just leave? Are you gonna yell at me? Wait right there. Are you trying to renounce the decision? Yes? Do not be absurd. Now come back here and make a decision. This decision is absurd. Excuse me? The survival of humanity rests upon this decision, Lunecra. Why do you refuse to understand that? You humans must ensure your continuation by making this precious sacrifice. Right now, the cat has decided. Abel is their most destructive agent. Cain became a pacifist after the murder. The CP Foundation would like a word. Oh. Well, either way, I didn't actually make the choice. I said, nah, and it's like, this is happening now since I'm trying to just leave. Uh, is it worth surviving at such a cost? You're right. And the end just doesn't the end doesn't justify the means. Is it worth surviving at such a cost? Whatever. Enough of your useless arguments. Quietus is growing ever nearer to engulfing the whole planet as we speak. We have no time to waste. Do the right thing. Now choose. Choose! I don't... I don't want to choose! <clears throat> no! I'm going to continue. There is no other way. If you can think of one, please share it. We should rid Regaia of Quietus. Why won't you understand that humanity has no future as long as you keep chasing that dream? Oof, I didn't think you were this unreasonable. I am very stubborn. All we Seth want to is uh, all we Seth want is to save you. Why don't you understand that? The humans made the decision to hand over this level of power to us after long consideration and reflection of your own actions. After failing repeatedly to avoid conflict amongst yourselves, you felt you were not fit to be in charge of your own continuation. You felt that only a higher intelligence could manage your enigmatic race, which would rather harm one another than try to see eye to eye. That is how humanity willingly handed over their decisions to us. And we have worked alongside you as your neighbors, doing our very best for you. But never mind. I suppose that is still not enough for you to approve of a massacre. That is how you feel. What are you choosing, Geist? Oh no. Something else is happening. The Gestalt Spear has been invaded. This may corrupt the collective consciousness. All Seth, please switch to standalone mode. <laughs> An invader in our collective. Lunacra, what have you done? 
What is going on, Dianthus? Wasn't it your doing? Then why has the Proto Descent sequence been reactivated? What is happening? It, what? It's true, guys. The Proto Seas Light Descent operation has been reinstated. But who would have. Navalis is now identifying the source of the orders. Dianthus, can you hear me? Navalis, yes, I hear you. You're just in time. Have you identified the source of the orders? Yes, but the orders are coming from within the Proto Seas Light. It's activating the sequence itself. Hello, Demon! Now it's a cute little alien, which is quite fitting since we're in space. Ah, oh, this is fascinating! He's, it's adorable, Neil. Okay, so we stalled making a decision so long that now the Proto Seas Light itself is activating. Because those weird fairy people, I believe, exist within the Seas Light. Because, like, the little fairies that are on our farm, I think those four fairies are technically, like, the spirits or personifications of the whatever the other Seas Lights are. Because, like, the Red Queen on Earth had the big fairy person. That arguably was the one wearing the red, or wearing the black outfit that Arya saw. Maybe that's the black was signifying how, you know, it had the quietus and problems. And then somewhere there's one with the white outfit. Could that be the one from the Proto Seas Light? Arguably, might the Proto Seas Light hit Earth and instead of it being a problem, it actually fixes things because they don't... They were having problems controlling the energy of it and yada yada, but maybe it'll still just work because, you know, magic and monolites. Who knows? Or maybe it's going to destroy everything. Who knows? So the Proto Seas Light is activating the sequence itself. What? Have you got that right, Novalis? Are you saying the Seas Light has a will of its own? The Seas Light has a will of its own? Everyone calm down. We should be able to avert the crisis by shutting down the Proto. Right, Novalis? I'm afraid not. That doesn't seem to be working. The Proto is headed for the Castle of Illusion. It is dropping on our exact location. But that's not the directory that I plotted for it. It appears that the Sea Light has written it of its own accord. Listen up, all of you. Here are the results of our simulation. If the Proto Seas Light continues its trajectory and lands on the Castle of Illusion, then the neighboring towns Leith and Shatola will be reduced to ruins. Namia and Arjean will not go unharmed either. On the other hand, if the Genesis Core gets destroyed, then the Seas Light might be forced to shut down. I think. Where's the Genesis Core? If that happens, then the conditions on land. Oh no. Yeah, because the Genesis Core is inside the Castle of Illusion. So if it crashes in there, not only is it going to just, like, meteor level devastation the planet and the town surrounding it, it's also going to destroy the thing controlling the current sea's lights. What if we took direct control? Aria? Are we going to the Astrum cell of the Proto Seas Light? Sorry, guys. Don't tell me. She's going inside the Proto. That seems to be the case. She's attempting to manually divert the Proto's trajectory from the inside. But the Proto will fall at any moment. If Arya does not get out of there in time, she will go down with it. Off I go! Hey, wait, not you too, Lunacra! Yes, indeed. We're gonna go meet the fairy. Let's go. Please open. Yes, it's open. I'm coming with you. Huh, Lunacro, what the hell are you doing here? Coming with, let's go. Countdown complete. Commencing. Proto Seas Light Descent. Toot. Yeah, no time to argue. Let's go. Proto Seas Light Astr Astrum Cell. I assume that's where we're headed anyways. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Seriously, what the hell were you thinking following me in here? You should have just left me to deal with it. I got to get- I got to you in time this time. I got to you in time this time. This time, you are something else. Sigh. Never mind. 
You're here now. Let's not waste time. The internal data is in the control center this way. Hurry. We don't have much time until we make impact. All right, let's go. And I swear if you make me fight things, I'm going to be real mad. Also... I'm just... Because you see that weapon there that's shown is my, like, normal weapon. Open door. Is, um, the fighter weapon and not, like, the pilgrim weapon. I'm also wearing, like, my normal clothes instead of my fighty clothes. So this is the control center. And this is the trajectory we're on. I see. I should still be able to change it. You think we still have a chance? It'll be a race against time, but there is still some hope. I need your help, Lunacra. If we can ignite the emergency boosters and change the proto proto's trajectory, we'll make a forced landing in the North Sea. If we can manage that, then at least Leith and the other villages should be okay for now. Alright, got it. Let's get started right away. I wish we could. Unfortunately, it looks like the proto is incomplete and we can't control the boosters from here. What do we do now, then? I'll work something out, of course. I expected something like this to happen. Of course you did. If we can't control them from here, then our only other option is to ignite them ourselves. Okay, Lunecra? There are two emergency boosters. We have to set them off at the same time to change your character trajectory. I'll do one and you do the other. Yours is through that door. Just keep going along the path and you'll see the booster. This does not bode well. Mine is through this door. Let's give this as a, our all. Are we going to see the two different fairies then? Oh lordy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! What's going on? Is this the thing? Lunacra, can you hear me? Reply to me if you can. I hear you. Okay, we have to set it up first. It's nothing too complicated, so you should have no problem keeping up. First, touch the console that's in there. Poke! Then all you have to do is follow the on-screen instructions and press the corresponding buttons. Pokey poke. Okay, I'm all good to go on my side. Now, Lunecra, listen carefully. Once we set off the boosters, we won't have much time until impact. So as soon as it's done, run straight into the escape pod, okay? Uh, what about you, Arya? I will meet up with you later. Just make sure you hurry up, okay? Alright, I'll leave the timing to you. Send me a cue when you're ready. Arya, you're not dying on this thing. And boost! Sure, that's a funny way. Okay, so is the escape pod back in the direction we came from? I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, Arya, you're not allowed to just, like, die on this thing. Um, forecasting trajectory? We did it. We changed the trajectory. Now run, Lunecra. Get into the escape pod. Uh, Arya, no. I mean, I'm gonna go, because I'm pretty certain. Yeah, get into the escape pod. Yep, it's forcing me to do that. Hello, MSE. Welcome in. Okay, there's several escape pods. Lunecra, can you hear me? That's the escape pod right in front of you. Get in there. Quick. Boarding hatch closed. Commencing ejection sequence. Where are you, Arya? I'm doing pretty good. I was a little late because my computer was, uh, being a pain about exporting yesterday's VOD. And then that's going to be late for YouTube because YouTube's like, I'm going to take forever to accept it. But we're here now and we've got story going on and Arya's trying to be a sacrificial lamb. Which, you know, is mildly expected. I doubt she'll actually die, though. I'm sure the fairies will do something. Not the little fairies, but the, like, large ones. How are you doing today, MSC? 
What do you mean you can't come? Sorry, but there's more to it than just diverting the trajectory. Someone has to stay in here and dismantle some of the proto parts afterwards. I'm the only one who can do that. And anyway, this was all my fault in the first place. I need to take responsibility for that. Arya, Lenarka, you go on and live. Live and end the planetary nightmare. Is that what you're calling this? This is goodbye now. Thank you for everything. You're a wonderful person. Ejecting escape pod. I would be sadder if I actually believed she would die. But I don't believe she will die. Until I see a body, I do not believe she's dead. Ah, oh, the Game of Thrones conundrum. <laughs> What's this? Mm, can you hear me? This... Respond. Who is it? Because I feel like it wouldn't be Arya. Is it the fairy? And even then, it's 50-50. Please respond, Escape Pod. Do you hear me? Please respond. <laughs> me trying to find a button for responding. Uh, this is Escape Pod. Arya, she... That's Lenarker's voice. It's me, Dianthus. I don't know what exactly happened, but I understand you have escaped. I'm coming to collect the pod. Okay, but Arya's still over there. Okay, the music is very hardcore. We're on the airship. Arya stayed behind to disintegrate the pod, did she? Is she planning to sacrifice herself? Essentially. No? Uh, we have to save her. I thought you would say as much. Fine, this is where you step in. Me? What is it? I'll do whatever I can to help. I will leave you in charge of steering for a while. You will be fine. All you have to do is to wreck the ship and the machine will do the rest. Alright, I'll give it a shot. I guess, yeah, he's driven a submarine. He can probably do something similar. Lunacre, you're coming with me to the deck. Alright. Are we dropping ourselves onto the proto mid-flight? Yes. Because that's the proto sees light falling. She did it. The proto sees light is starting to break apart. Fine, get close to the proto sees light and match it to its relative velocity. Now, Lunacra, fire the flare. Got a flare? Hey, Arya, jump! We'll catch you. That's what you wanted, isn't it, Arya? All of my actions led me to this point, and this is how it all ends. The rest is up to them. Look, there's a big hole! Just jump! Huh? Is that a signal flare? Jump, Arya, jump! We're gonna catch you! Jump, jump, jump! Where did that airship come from? Wait, is that Lunecra? Yeah, we're not gonna let you die. Get out of there. There are more fragments than I anticipated. I don't know if my energy field will be able to withstand this. This is crazy. There's too much debris. Dianthus, the ship isn't holding up. Hell yeah, we're the main character. We got this. Yeah, exactly. What are you doing? The whole airship will explode if you don't get away now. The proto won't wait for you, no matter what you left in here. Don't tell me. It's me you're looking for. Unbelievable. We're not letting you die. Jump! How could someone be so selfless? Can you jump already? 
It's not the safest of things. The pot is reaching its limit, too. I have no other choice but to go for it. Jump! 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 You're gonna die either way. At least have, you know, a chance with jumping. Lunacra, I'm falling rapidly. Yes. Over here! It felt like you just heard Arya's voice. That way. Fine, over there! Go, go, go! Catch the jumping woman. That's all that my brain has. Gotcha! Stop trying to die now. Please. Can we hug? Lunecra. You need to stay alive to fight with us. Although I think you're too young to die would be hilarious because you are like 2,000 years old. I've ne me never met anyone quite like you. The proto seas light has landed. It appears to have caused only minimal damage to all areas. Well done, Lunecra and Arya. You saved the planet. Fine, please withdraw from this airspace. Okay, but now that it's landed, what's it going to do? All right. I know you had it, like, mildly deteriorating, but it still landed. Something still existed to hit the ground. What Falls from the Heavens, Chapter 9 Complete. So we're very close to the end of this, but we still have four closeness to get with Arya. <laughs> Salt Savant's Bondstone. Arya's story has been opened. Oh, so now we can just do, um, story story things. Break time conversations will happen from now on. Right, yeah, because that broke a while ago. Beyond Aporia achievement unlocked. Okay. Yeah, I believe chapter 10 is supposed to be the end. Phew, I think we may be out of danger for now. So now what? With the subjugation of Geist uh, Paradise Project complete, there is only one thing left for us to do. Uh, purge Quietus from the planet, yeah. Could be fun. Really, Braca? But how are we supposed to do that? You're right, we don't have any clues on how to go about it, do we? That's true. We followed Geist's rails to the outer reaches of the planet until now. I guess that means the rest is up to us, although I do wonder if we're really out of ideas. Uh, we might have missed something. You know, magic. I'd say we have some time to think. Agreed. But I can see you are fatigued. Let us part ways here for today. Yeah, fair. Alright, look, we're home! Hey, little fairy guys. Yeah, you. Gotta Ye plow harder. Okay, could you tell me a little bit more about yourselves, maybe? Is that an option? Could you tell us, like, did you- did- were you born of the sea's light? Because, like, magic and such, like... I'm sure there's some things you could tell us. Alright, that's for our stuff and things. Alright, I was holding on to that for, um, as a food. Alright. And it's only 140. It was 110 when we were trying to leave that one uh, building earlier. I'm gonna pet you. Look, we've saved all sorts of people today. Alright, so, you know, the story's just like, hey! Sleep in your bed after completing a day's activities. Yeah? Alright, um, we could go to the Castle of Illusion for a couple things. Nah, you know what? We're just going to fish on the farm until the day is out. There was a lot of excitement that has happened. Let's just take a minute. Take a minute to fish and just kind of relax after all that craziness. Also got a tummy full of food, and I don't really want to uh, try to have more food for trying to go through the Castle of Illusion. 
as well. We should just kind of annihilate anything in there pretty easily. You never really know. Yeah, I think a little fishing and kind of just take it all in. So, arguably we can't do the Heaven Shell thing now because the proto Seas Light was dropped. Still haven't really talked about the fairies or the magic of the monolith. And I mean like the little fairies too, because like the hollowed were created by the sea's light as like a side effect, they said. And I feel like the fairies were similarly just like a side effect. Oh, come on, controller. It just suddenly decided that it was going to disconnect. But it's looking for itself. Come on. Speak. Speak to the computer. You're not going to and you're going to give up, aren't you? <sighs> it gave up. Very rude. At least the game was already paused because of the fishy. Because it's a fishy. Right. Bluetooth devices. Remove the controller and then reconnect the controller because you are doing a dumb. Doot doot. Talk to the computer, please. I don't know why it does this. It's just every now and then it's just like, nope. Okay. Yep, there we go. All better. After this fish, I gotta minimize the device things, though. Arya and her uh, continued, like, self-sacrificing type of personality that was getting really annoying. I will take it all upon myself to decide the fate of all humans. I will kill you all and, you know, make a martyr of myself. Okay, let me go ahead and minimize that thing. There we go. Lordy. Mm, trying to fix my chair. That way, chair. Thank you. Oh yeah, I think some relaxing fishing is the best way to try and think this over. But yes, we still... The fairy person that Arya saw and the one that I see. Black versus white clothing. And the one with the white clothing is also the one in charge of the quiet as well. And she's like, these are my memories. So like, that's another element to consider in this. Like, what's up with the whole quietest well? And the memories from the white haired fairy or the white dressed fairy. There are things to explore, including the fairies right at the door. <laughs> I also gotta love how Arya was just like, eh, may as well jump. What do I got to lose? I'm gonna die if I don't attempt it. May as well attempt it. Worst case scenario, I still die. <sighs> uh, I don't think I've actually said it while streaming, but I've thought it several times, but uh... The name Harvest Stella. I feel like all of us really missed the Stella portion of the name. We just kind of stuck to Harvest and we're like, ooh, Harvest. Harvesting. Farming. The Stella portion. Nah. That doesn't mean anything. Totally no space adventures. Oh, I do- Yay! That's the fishy we needed! That's one of the rare fishies. Um, we had to catch ten of the silvery one before we had a chance to catch this one. And of course we caught a high quality one. Like, what's that about? Well, let's go ahead and take that to um, our Sahagan friend. Even though I'd rather give him a lower quality one. I'll give him whatever the heck I got, you know? To the suspicious lake. Hey, sir. We're uh, out here saving the world, but I also had time to go ahead and get you a fish. So would you uh, like this fish? Seafood faux recipe. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, the Twilight uh, Cherry Salmon Fish, that's the one that's nighttime in Namiya. 
Day June Trout, I believe, is the one that's the day after a day of rain, or I guess in winter snow. Um, you can catch in that one place. Um, the Higgin Canyon. That's the one I'm thinking of. Mm. I didn't need to. Or I need to cross off the fish that we just did. Okay, yeah. So I know what those two are offhand. Um, one of them's actually at the junction. Let me look. I've got it pulled up on another page. The uh, things. Let's see. Okay, um, there's the Monotimon on there as well. That's another one that's actually um, on the farm. So we'll just continue uh, fishing here. The Rainbow Harp over there in the uh, far, far corner. That one is uh, at the Panthalasa Panthalasa Junction. But we do have another fish we can catch on our farm. So we'll go back to fishing here. Because nighttime isn't until like seven. And like arguably we could go to Nami and work on that fish, but I might work on that fish uh off uh stream one day, because I might just save uh sc save scum that one. We'll see. We might also just like anytime it's you know almost end of day and not have much else to do, head over there. And try to catch it. And just kind of hope for the best in our free time. This is a crab. So much has been happening. Alright, so... Hopefully the story immediately has something for us to do tomorrow. But if not, we'll probably... Hey, look, we got another one! Of just, like, the regular quality. Which is, a. Uh, Great. Kinda wish I had given uh, that one to the guy and then I could have sold the high quality one, but it's fine. It's fine. As long as I catch one of each, that's all that really matters, because the uh, encyclopedia does have an entry for both. Hey, if you want to give me the mono, whatchamacallit, uh, fishy now, that'd be great. And then we can go ahead and head over to Mia for some nighttime fishing. See, look, we go from that to nighttime. Which I was actually curious. Now that it's. Oh, I hit the button too soon. Alright, so now it's nighttime. Um. I was wondering, since I believe we're on the moon, I've never really cared to look at the sky in this game at night to see if there was some kind of moon in the sky. Because, like, our night icon shows a moon, right? But, like,. I don't think we have a moon. We'll check again at the end of the night. Also, look how pretty that thing looks. Alright. We're gonna keep on fishing, but before we go to bed, I wanna look one more time, see if maybe like later in the night there's in theory a moon, but I don't know if there's actually a moon in the sky. I feel like um, there's been some times in Shatola that we should have seen a moon and like maybe we did, but I really can't remember. I'm just really curious on if there's a moon or not. Or if it's only us. Which, another thing to um, consider with all the things. Um, is if they did make the moon into an Earth, why aren't the two planets, you know, essentially hitting each other? They did say... Uh, Geist said that they accidentally sent the other planet to a different dimension when they were trying to restore it. Um, and that's part of why that plan failed. Because if you remember when we first land in a band Eden, Dianthus is like, so Geist really found it. I mean, the Omens just like outright lost the planet. Like, it's not lost Gaia just because it died. It's lost Gaia because they didn't know where it went. It was literally lost to them. I'm just like, huh. And so when we are traveling to there, it sounds like we are literally traveling to another dimension. 
could be wrong, but that is kind of how they've made it sound so far. Okay, I think we'll go for one more fishy after this one. And then we'll uh, sell whatever fishies need selling. And once again, look up at this guy. Because if there is a moon to this planet, I'm curious as to why or how. Did they literally just make another moon because the old one had a moon, this one gets a moon too. But it shouldn't- so, real Earth has a moon to control the seas, but this place has a sea's light to control the seas. So do they really need to have given this planet a moon? Or were they given it one just kind of out of a nostalgia sake, essentially? Alright, so yes, this is a money fish. Money, money, money. I don't need that. A type of rare fish, a fish with a sublime golden sheen. Rumor has it that this fish appears when it is mourning fellow fish that have been caught, but only it knows the truth. Yeah! So all the uh, other fish that we caught, we had to catch them in order for that one to, uh... Yeah, this guy. We had to catch a bunch of those ones for that one to be available. It only shows up when it's mourning the loss of the others. Oof. Alright, and then let's go over here one more time. I know I feel sleepy, but I wanted to see, do, you, do we have a moon? And it's cool if we do have a moon and like, we just don't see it today. But I'm very curious if there's a moon or not. It's so pretty. Alright. Back to the house. So yeah, didn't we also just like, arrive there? That's where we, like, passed out, was on that place. What are we? Who are we? Is that the next thing to question? Where did I come from before all this? Alright, decent amount of monies. Oh, the uh, animals continue to provide decent monies too. Alright, also we're most of the way through winter. Epilogue. The story of your world. Is it epilogue now, technically? Oh, okay. Lunecra, are you awake? Or is this like a side thing? Uh, good morning. You're in my home? Morning. Just received a communique from Nivalis. We may be able to find a hint that will help us bring quietus to an end. What'd they find? Let us go and see for ourselves. I have yet to confirm it myself. Come to the Castle of Illusion once you are ready. Okay. Also, are all of the robots still disconnected because of the invader? Uh, the long goodbye. Okay, so that's another separate thing. And then, you know, the main story here is in an epilogue. So it's not really chapter 10, it's epilogue. The team is through the worst of it, and the dismissal of the Geist Paradise Project and the fall of the proto Light. Now they search for a means of putting an end to quietness once and for all. The story of your world truly begins at this point. Alright, and then we've got both of those. And we literally have not had any memos since, like, the very beginning. The memos were just, like, a couple... Hey! These are kind of tutorials. Alright, and Unicorn still doesn't have another mission for us. Well, let's go ahead and just take care of the farm. And then we'll be going in the Castle of Illusion for, like, a bajillion different reasons. Here, Dianthus. What does the Dianthus thing say? Apologies for the delay in my correspondence. More time has passed than I expected since reading Emily's poetry. Would you meet me on the airship whenever you have the time? I'll be waiting. Great. We'll do that on our way. Castle Lewis News. New object lands in Northern Sea. <laughs> New object has landed in the Northern Sea. The area is dangerous, so please try to avoid it as much as possible. <laughs> That's it. They don't have anything useful to say. Just, yep, something landed, guys. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. We'll take care of that. The veggies are simply bursting to be harvested. Hey, that should get us, um... Hello, little crappies. Some of the fairy goals. Hello, little crappies. And then those are still growing. All right. Let's go over this way real quick first. Do you guys have enough food to survive the rest of winter? 
like 10 more days. Y'all need just like 60 food then, right? I think I pet you all. Okay. Yeah. All right, so y'all got plenty of food. I think we'll stop making the animal food for a minute. Yeah. There's six of you guys for each thing, and you got slightly over that amount. So we'll hold off on making you guys food until I can actually make more grass. What, did I put your food in there? I did. Have you got enough for... Well, this is gonna take 60. Yeah, fine. We'll make a little bit more. Backpack. Hold on. Do, do, do. Okay, so we just have some cluffle feed. I think that means just some grass feed for the other ones. Okay, put this stuff away. Let's do... Um, we'll keep two of those, and we'll keep three of those, and then we're gonna sell the rest. Alright, and then let's go ahead and plant the rest of those. And then... Um, let's go ahead and make some cheese, I guess. More mayonnaise. Cannot wait to make a uh, more apple juice. Um, grass, brain, looking for the grass. Am I out of grass and wheat? I know it was low. I wasn't sure if it was actually out. I think it might be out. Or I'm blind. Yeah, maybe I used up the rest of it. Well, and then I'm pretty certain I've processed everything in here. Yeah. I got 32 of those. I have more of that. Um, I don't even remember where we get the batteries from. Alright. Let's go ahead then and put this stuff in. Oh yeah, I should probably make more berry juice. That's what it is. Okay. Working on the farm. I work on the farm every day, just a little bit. I'm just kind of enjoying the music and getting the job done at the moment. I was like, man, I'm being really quiet, but I'm like, you know, I'm just kind of enjoying the music, enjoying the vibes. All right. And then, yep, everything should be out of the pocket. Let's go ahead and see about maybe, uh, uh, hold on. First, let's gather stuff from the different parts of the farm, and then we'll see about making probably more stir fry. That is not what I'm trying to click on this guy. Um, probably making more stir fry. Essentially, we're gonna do some cooking after we gather some stuff. We could use a little bit more food stuff. Doot. do the hilltop last so that way we can also go gather some of the uh sacred lumber from the other place doot, doot, doot. Oop. it's so far away it really takes a lot of the stamina
Alright, let's... Here, we'll eat a berry. We don't want to waste too much food, but if we put a little bit of food in the tummy, we'll regenerate some of the uh, stamina. Which is better than none. Okay, I'm gonna put all this stuff here away. Let's go cooking. Okay, so we only have high quality wild leaves, so we really don't want to make that. Um, right, well then we've got like a single rice is why uh, some of that's able to be made. Yeah, so we don't really want to do that. Still need the mocha tree. Clean leaf from the Norge step, which is a gathering thing. Must be something I needed a higher level gathering thing in order to get. I'll we'll have to go through there and gather stuff sometime. Alright, well... Mm -hmm. Um... What do I have? Uh, there's some kind of fishy foods that like I had a decent amount of stuff for. I don't want to use the wild leaf for that. Hmm... No. Mm. Mm. And I definitely don't want to do that. Although I think that's something I need to turn into Nami, isn't it? Maybe I already did. I don't know. Um, tacos? Yeah, let's go ahead and make tacos. We'll just use our last two meats for tacos. Tacos are a good one. Alright. And now to do various quests. What I'm gonna do though, go to this thing. I'm gonna save it here. Because then I'll probably go through and see if there's like any interesting differences that happen with the orbital cradle thing. Because I guess, arguably, no matter what decision you end up making, you'd end up dropping the proto seeds light. Um, and then maybe in a different uh, selection, everyone will come in and be like, What have you done? It's like, oh, we're doing this. And then they'd be like, oh, um, no? I don't know. I hope you bring back souvenirs. Might poke at that another time. Now we're saved right there at the decision-making point. Uh, we would like to land because we're just going to go inside of the castle of illusion. We're not flying away. Alright. Okay, so over there for that. And then you can see some other uh, questy points. Oh, do we get to find out about the mystery door now? Mystery door, mystery door, mystery door. Yes, the mystery door is no longer locked. What's up with the mystery door, friends? What's up, friends? Melanurka, you're here. I think that's everyone then. Apart from the unicorn. Okay, so what's this clue to the quietest you think you might have found? While we do not know if it will be useful, there may be information in Guy's chamber that we can use. Oh, it's Guy's chamber. When you say Geist, do you mean the one who tried to destroy the world? That Geist? One and the same. Why on earth would he, of all beings, have any clue about how to end Quietus? He was the one who proposed the Heaven Shell, correct? Ah, no. I do mean- I do not mean new g eh. I do not mean Geist new persona. Uh. Geist former persona. Affirmative. His former persona. That makes sense. There must be something that version of Geist knows. He gave us the coordinates to Lost Gaia, after all. Originally, Geist was part of a cloud whose goal was to quell Quietus. I was also a member. 
But one day, Geist disconnected from the Collective and began concealing information. And do you think there may be something we can use in the information he swirled away? Then why did we start looking then why didn't we start looking here from the beginning? If we're that easy, then we uh, then we would have, obviously. But the room sealed tight with a strict lock mechanism. We've never been able to open it. But this morning, some of the locks dropped off. Probably an effect of the proto falling. I doubt it's an effect of the proto itself. Well, I guess the proto did also kind of take over the Seth and they had to disconnect. Anyway, we should be able to open it now. So we can finally enter. Novalis, you have our thanks. Just doing what I should. Let's get in there and start looking around. Let's go. This music, though, is really not helping the vibes, I feel. Okay. We got many computers. So this is where Geist once called home. Welcome. It's a little machine. What are you? An enemy? No, I harbor no malice nor any desire to harm you. I am a miniature support device created by Geist's former persona, Geist Mark II. Geist Mark II. Correct. However, I am merely a program made to ensure the work he left behind is accomplished. Think of me as a last will and testament. That's an interesting idea. So, what work did Geist leave behind exactly? Surely you know already, the eradication of quietus. The locks in the door were here were programmed to open in the event that you reject the heaven's shell. Wait. So Geist kind of knew what was going to happen to his personality? Ah, uh, so that's why... Wait, can we slow down a second? You mean to say that the past Geist even knew about the heaven's shell? That's correct. Geist predicted that the project would be carried out by his restored persona. The scientist girl there, Arya, her presence could have been the final piece needed. At any rate, you rejected the heaven shell and have earned your right to enter this room. I see. So, Mark II, how much do you know about Quietus? Good question. Let us go over what we know. Okay. Quietus is a phenomenon that disperses Gaia dust into the atmosphere at the turning point of the seasons. The origin of the Gaia dust is, as you have already surmised, the seas light themselves. That's right. The seas light are clones of the astral cell found within the Red Queen, so it's natural to consider the seas light as the origin, much in the same way that the Red Queen was. And anything caught up by the seas light, and anything caught up by the seas light turns strange. Naturally, we Seth were able to accumulate regular research into the Seas Light. I believe Dianthus will know a lot about that. Correct. However, none of our research was able to detect an anomaly. That's right. Even during Quietus, the Seas Lights were normal, at least via the system we had built. As a matter of fact, we have still not found a reason for their peculiar glow during Quietus. But didn't you make the Seas Light? As much as I hate to admit it. That is correct. They were originally devi devices for planting Ashram Cell clones. But as we do not know everything about Ashram Cells, facets of the Sea Light's, sea lights operation are still a mystery to us. Yeah, because you don't know everything. It has a heart. Exactly. At any rate, not being able to find any anomaly is what brought the Seth's research into quietness to a halt. Not for Geist. What did you say? What follows is concealed information that even Dianthus does not know. Geist discovered a phenomenon where the Ashram cell would act as though naturalized uh, when on Lost Gaia. The Ashram cell would act as though naturalized when on Lost Gaia. Naturalized. Correct. To put it simply, it gradually displayed power to revert this planet, Regaia, into the lost Gaia it was before. 
The transformation was small at first, but substances from Lost Gaia began to appear on Re Gaia. They accompanied any they accompanied any energization of the sea's light and seemed to have some correlation with quietus. What? Hold on a moment. So like with the heaven's egg. Not just the heaven's egg. Oh yeah, because in the heaven's egg, buildings were there that shouldn't have been. Several other structures appeared. There's the philosophical flame and automata too. That is correct. They too are part of this naturalization phenomenon. Geist called it the planetary nightmare. Planetary nightmare. And so, for the sake of the investigation, he decided to further energize the sea's light. Correct. But Geist did not know the astral cell would cause substances from Lost Gaia to appear. The astral cell implanted by the sea's light may be a clone, but it is not of Lost Gaia. They have no physical relationship. That is true. I'm so confused. That is what brought Geist's investigation to a standstill. Normally I've been able to keep up, but I'm a little lost here. However, he was able to develop a hypothesis. What if the ashram cell was linked to a non-physical space? Something shared, akin to a planet's memory. Okay, so because... Yeah, you're essentially saying that it might have like a heart-soul kind of concept because it has memories of the other place. It was a clone derived of. A non-physical space, but that... was the only way to explain the phenomenon that was occurring. Let's call it planetary storage. There must be a place where the memories of the planet are kept, and the ashram cells have a connection that passes through that non-physical space. Surely the cause of quietus is hidden somewhere in there. If that were the case, then it would be impossible for the Seth to analyze, given their physical circuitry. Geist had to come to terms with that fact. And so he began to break down and commit violence, you mean? He began to obsess over human evolution because he could feel his own artificial limitations. But if such truth flowed into the collective consciousness, it would pollute the logic centers of the Seth. And so he severed his link. Correct. He concealed his research reports until to such a time that you would be able to reach them. The planet's memory center. Finding it all a bit hard to believe. Hmm, I can't say for sure. What happens as a phenomenon can one day be made clear by humans? It's what I pride myself on as a scientist, but this time I'm not sure. What do you think? It's a lot? So, is it like the planet's soul? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, because it- the planet has the fairy person, right? The fairy person is a part of it. So, like... I, I, I think that's what it is. The planet's technically alive, and, and it's that life force that you can't- it's its heart that you can't follow. Took us at my, uh, hot cocoa. But that's why you couldn't figure out the problem. And the planet's sad. All of this because the planet's depressed. <laughs> that's such a guy in interpretation, to see the planet as a life form. However, none of us were able to detect nor control the proto's fall. Even we do not understand everything about the sea's light, how can we say anything is impossible? It is merely a hypothesis, after all. It does not need to be believed yet. But if you want to search the planet's memory center, then I can give you access to Geist Energization Program. The program should stir a reaction from the sea's light, correct? We will need it if that is what it takes to operate the door to the planet's memory center. Then I will share the program with you, Dianthus. You received a Geist program. Geist was unable to learn the secrets behind the Quietus. There is no way to confirm that you will be able to either. Lunacra. In that final moment, the Geist you defeated wagered his entire being on the future you would choose. 
The chances of you refusing a logical end, the heavens show, were predicted to be extremely low. That is why Geist wagered on that future. And you came here, fighting against logic, to do something extraordinary. But that, but that logical irrationality is what makes humanity what it is. The unique ability to dream, to expand the realm of possibility, is the duty of an intelligent life form. So please, retain your humanity until the very end. Am I even human, though? What am I? This is the final will of Geist former persona. It has opened a path for us. We're going to use that program, right? Geist left it for us. It feels like such a dangerous thing to use. Well, he was trying to shatter the planet. I don't think that should be a worry. The program he used for that was the uh, Papatosis program. Although, it could still be risky. In what way? If we energize the seeds light, then we might end up causing quietus early. Isn't that right, Dianthus? I would say so. While it was short, quietus did occur when Geist energized the Seas Light. Oh no. The sea. We do not want to be too quick to rouse them, then, do we? Isn't there anything we can do about it? Not unless there's some way we can stop the dispersal of Gaia dust. Um... Didn't the fairies make a barrier? I mean, they did it once before when it was just the one. So maybe they could? No, there's no way we can ask them to create one large enough. They'd die from exhaustion. Fair. A barrier isn't a bad idea, though. Um, the heaven shell? Just temporarily? I see what you're saying. Is there a portion of the heaven shell we could borrow? There must be. If we could temporarily cover the continent with a quietus barrier, then we could use that chance to... You know what? It's not impossible. Hmm, an interesting idea. We should speak to Geist immediately. He must be at the unoccupied throne now. Why is he there? Why would he be at the unoccupied throne? Alright. Okay. It's not even noon in game yet, and we're already plotting all sorts of crazy stuff. Well, there is a spot over there with some uh, side quest action, so let's go that way. What? Why do I have no energy? Nope, yep. do this please. Thank you. Hey, any chance you would like to... Uh... Yes, you dropped a sturdy screw. That's what I needed. Alright. Okay, and then down and around. Mm. As, yes. Do I want to focus on the main story? Yes, but we should also go ahead and take care of this other stuff. Because there was one person who wanted us to look around and find um, weak points in the walls. Yeah. My goodness. Petrate. Nice. And then there was also Tweedledee here. Yep, who ran off to explore. Who are you? Your body is made of non-standard parts. Have you made an unauthorized... Have you made unauthorized modifications to it? State your build identification. What's that? I don't have one. I'm Tweedledee. Tweedledee. That is not saved in our records. This could be an imposter. Oh, it's a guest. Hey you, reply to the cloud. Cloud? What does that mean? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know the cloud? I'll ask you one more time. Why do you contain non-standard parts? Do you understand that making your own modifications is an offense? I told you, I haven't made any modifications. What's wrong with that anyway? It would look super cool if you added some extra parts to your back. This build appears to be... Yes, they have falsified their build identification just like Geist did. What? We must stop the first signs of rebellion before they turn into another geist. We must deal with this swiftly. What? Well, what's going on? We are detaining you. Resistance is futile. Wait, guys, that's cheating. If we're playing tag, you have to tell me first. 
What happens when you detain me, anyway? You know what happens. We wipe your personality data and reset you. Wipe my personality data? What? No way. You can't do that. You'll delete me. <gasps> hey, guys. Wait. Uh, leave Tweedledee alone, please? Hmm? How did an Abel get in here? How do you not know who I am? Is this that Abel that Navalis reported about? Eek. This is my chance. Eek. Huh? Crap. Don't let him get away. We'll deal with you later, Abel. Uh, follow. Follow them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did y'all go? Uh, you are no longer on this map. But the next level is like right around this way, so... Hi, guys! How would you like to feel about some spinny, spinny spins? <laughs> okay, I'm already right here at the next bit, so let's just walk. Right. Oh. Okay. Is this? I think this is where the um, yeah, this is where things are controlled from. Okay, monolith control room. Like trying to remember where that place was, or what that place was. Alright, on this map, okay, we've got all sorts of stuff on this map. We've got both uh, side quest bits there and the main story. Also, the uh, fear critters here no longer are scary, so we got that going for us. Oh, I, I just wanted to hit the save button. Yep, file two. Leave file one alone. Yes, I've beat many of you guys, though, so I don't need to fight any more of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, you were supposed to drop some, uh... The screws. I need the screws. For the things. Oh, hey! I can probably easily get that thing now. Alright, let's go ahead and eat a taco. And... Hi guys, we're just gonna go ahead and quickly defeat y'all. And then you, you're technically level 50, so you might actually be difficult. Still don't have my party members. Please hold. We're gonna go back to the monolith, it's not that far away. Um, because we still don't have our party members, it's still, uh, got rid of them after before. Am I allowed to have a party now? Yes, yes I am. Great, you two! Get back over here. Thank you. Alright. Now guys. I think we, might be able to take it down. We, we could, we could. Um, we're probably gonna take down the one in this other room though, because it's got a treasure chest behind it. And arguably, it might drop something neat. I was like, yeah, I could probably just like defeat it without or just like grab the things without actually fighting it. But like, where's the fun in that? Yeah. Here I go. easy. Alright. Just some beach right. That's rude. Okay. Fancy deadly poison guard ring. That's nice. Alright, let's go back to Pilgrim. Alright, then over here we've got this. Liz says you should be able to reach a new sector from this wall, but nothing stands out as unusual here. So for the... Ooh, what are we hearing? To the end in. We're hearing something. You think you hear a voice, but there's no one around. There don't seem to be any clues at this wall. Just, you know, the spooky voice. 
I think the voice might be a clue. But you know. Oh no, they've got him cornered! Guys, leave him alone! This is my friend. Well, I'm so stupid. How could I run into a dead end? This is pointless. I'll just keep running away. We must immobilize him first. Break his legs, and then we'll reset his personality. Rude! No, I'm sorry. Please don't break my legs or delete my personality. Um, Tweedledee is harmless, you dum-dums. Please do not interfere. We cannot ignore the first signs of rebellion. Um, Tweedledee is different. How so? He's, you explain the situation to the omens. He's literally not one of you. I have received confirmation from Dianthus. It is highly improbable that you are lying. However, there is no guarantee that this build will not turn out like Geist. I'll deal with it if he does. Very well, then we shall leave Lunacra to deal with him. That was so scary. There, there, you'll be okay now. Don't run off by yourself again. I won't. Little D, was it? Let me ask you something. What? Why were you so fearful of having your personality data wiped? It is well known that by wiping your old data, you can then be assigned the most suitable personality for your mission. We cannot comprehend your fearful reaction. Because if you delete my personality, I won't be me anymore. Even if you made a backup, I wouldn't be able to come back as myself again. My personality is a gift, so the thought of it being deleted and never coming back is really scary. I still don't understand. It doesn't matter. Whatever, can we go home now? I want to get back to Eden quick. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, these omens don't understand the whole personality thing. Alright, where am I? Okay, I need to go back the other way then. Alright, um, real quick, what time is it? Okay, it's almost two o'clock. In a bit here, I'm gonna take a quick break, um, probably, like, get outside of the room we need to go to, and then take a quick break, because I need a potty break, and, uh, the oldest is home from school again, and it's about time that I, uh, check on him again in regards to, you know, checking his temperature and if he needs any more medicine or not. So we're just gonna get outside the room in question. And then we'll uh take a quick break. Um, and I will play ads during said break. I don't think I actually played ads yesterday during break because I was just in such a rush to like get things taken care of. Why? Yeah, I don't have a lot of stamina, so I'm just gonna walk in circles around you. You two take care of it. Come on, guys, fight it. Y'all don't really need me. Because I've been literally running, running around the place and out of stamina for fighting. There we go. Alright. Okay. So, yeah. It should be inside of that room. And we can instead just, uh, stop here real quick, and we'll go ahead and save. So we're just gonna save here, and we're just gonna stay on this screen while I, real quick, go take care of some real life stuff really quick. So, uh, we will be right back to continue this plot. Alrighty. We back. Yep. Looks like all things are working completely. Let me just click into the game. Boop. There we go. Now to continue the story. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Sometimes the game gets angry after I've poked out of it. Hi, guys. What's going on? <coughs> hmm. Monica, how's your plan to end quietness going? Uh, we have an idea. You do, do you? That was faster than I expected. Which is why we are here, Geist. We want your help. Hmph. So 
What do you need from me now? We want to use the quietest barrier system you're going to use for your paradise project. What? Here, I thought you had no interest in the heavens shell. Changed your minds, have you? Uh, we only want to borrow it. What do you mean by that? You explain the situation to Geist. Yes, we want to activate the Seas Lights, um... Brain. We energize the Seas Lights so that way they'll do something, but that'll probably create quietness, so we want to just block it off for a minute. Oh, you want to use the quietest barrier so you can energize the Seas Light. A very interesting proposal. I won't refuse to help you, although there is one problem. Don't tell me. It'll wither away the area outside of the barrier. No, even for a short time, that shouldn't be an issue. The problem is energy. An entire continent is far larger than the Heaven Shell was intended to cover. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it will require an exterior energy source to work. Exterior energy source. Could we not use the residual energy from the Proto? Ah, now there's an idea. The proto Seas Light might have enough energy, enough reserve energy. Hmm, you may be right. If you divert the residual energy from the Poland Proto to the Castle of Illusion, well, there, that's the ticket. Seems like we're already well on our way. If memory serves, the Proto fell into the Northern Sea. We should rally the airship post haste. Are we going on the proto Seas Light now? Take the airship to the proto Seas Light in the North Sea. Okay. Real quick, since we're already like right next to that gathering point, I just want to go ahead and gather things from that gathering point. Don't I have a repair kit too on me? Yeah, let's go ahead. I did get a few more screws, so I should be able to make more soon. Black fence recipe and a sunstone. Not bad. Yeah, now that's taken care of. Oh, there's another questy point on this one. Alright, well, let's go to that, I guess. Because we can go to the Proto Seas Light tomorrow. That's going to be the third place inside of here. Taking care of them side quest is always useful, too. Plus, we can gather more stuff along the way. Because I could definitely use more, uh... Shells. Screws. That's the word. Screws. Because we've only got... One at the moment? No, I need more than that. I need way more than that. Alright. And then it's... Yeah, over that way. Up and around. Uh, oh, hello. Alright, well that would be the side that the... Lasers coming from on that side, yep. I'll just stay in here for a second, wait for it to go back. Okay. Uh, north, actually. Hi guys, any of you want to uh, drop a screw for me, please? No, nope, beach right. Like, which is useful, but like, that's not what I want, guys. I want the other stuff. Oh jeez, it's almost 10 p.m. already. Hi guys, how would you like to die? Thank you. The battle begins. You say as the battle has already ended. All right, and here. Hey Chris, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hey you, what are you doing here? You tell them you're helping. Uh, the investigation. You see, you're helping Hetero Villas, are you? It's true, and it's been shared in the database. I'll not stop you, but let me warn you of one thing. The last one who attempted, who teamed up with Hetero Villas to search the unreported sector, ended up crashing. They had to delete their personality files. I know that can't happen to you as an apple, but you may want to proceed with caution just in case. Interesting. I'm doing pretty okay. The uh, I checked all the places on the list. Go and tell them. Um, 
I don't know if I can get to one of those places quickly enough. Um, the oldest gremlin is home again and still seems to have a fever. If it doesn't break by this evening or in the morning, I'm gonna have to see what's going on with that further. Otherwise, green. Uh, game's been doing crazy things, as the game does. I guess I'll have to wait for that to return, but at the same time... I don't have that much time. Hurry up. I just want to get back to the entrance of this place. So that way I can talk to the one guy again. I'm going in. Uh-oh. This one? Yeah, I'm hoping he feels better by, like, a little later. Okay, so he's just over there. Just need this quest to be over. Um, so, if you remember from yesterday, um, we defeated Arya and they're like, well, you get control now of making decisions. And I was like, uh, I don't want that. And then we're, like, literally forced to go and make a decision. And I was like, nah, I'm gonna leave the room. Um, and I managed to not actually make a decision. Uh, I'm curious as to if I did make a decision, how it would have turned out. So I actually have a save file where I can do that. But I managed to, like, argue with uh, Geist about it long enough and stall that instead, um, something invaded their cloud, like the robots, their cloud, they had an invader in that, and the protoces, like, itself was like, nah, I am descending myself, and was giving orders that it was going. Um, so Arya and I run to it and get onto the proto seas light as it's falling down because they couldn't cancel it because uh, it was, you know, overriding all the things. Um, and it was intending to land itself on the Castle of Illusion, which would have just destroyed everything that already existed and destroyed the thing controlling the uh, seas lights. So it would have just completely destroyed everything. So Arya and I get on the uh, thing. Uh, hit some boosters to change its trajectory, and then she's like, you get on the escape pod, you go, you go, I'll, I'll catch up. And then she's like, yeah, sorry, I'm not going to be catching up. There's still more to be done. Bye! And we uh, are in a little escape pod, and Dianthus grabs us, and then we're on the airship, and we're like, yeah, Arya's trying to uh, sacrifice herself to save the world. And we're like, uh, no, you're not doing that. So we take the airship alongside the uh, proto seas light, that is now heading toward the Northern Ocean, um, which is important because we're about to head there in a little bit. But um, we go alongside it and we light off a flare so Arya can see us and she's like, you really just don't give up, do you? Oh well, and then she finally jumps out of the thing and we catch her on the airship, which is a pretty neat cutscene. So I might wanna check that out later. <laughs> but uh, so then we catch her on the airship and then now we're trying to figure out how to stop Quietist. Um, Geiss's old personality, the one that, you know, was trying to destroy the world, left behind a robot with some clues, um, as to what they think the Quietus might be. In short, it seems like they think that the Quietus crystal, because the robots can't really understand it, but we described it as it having a soul, it has memory, because if you energize the crystals, or the seas lights, I mean, um, it starts creating things that were on Lost Gaia that never existed here. Like, if you remember when we were in the Heaven's Egg, like, parts of the research facility and buildings were there. Things like that. The automata were around. Because when you energize the Seas Lights, it remembers things from Lost Gaia that it creates here. But because it's through memory, and isn't something that, uh, they can record because it's something that's part of a brain, part of, like, a soul or a heart or something, essentially. It's something that they couldn't really analyze or see in their recordings because it's not a physical thing and they can't record something that isn't physical. So they were thinking maybe the crystals have some kind of soul spirit thing and that's the problem behind Quietus. So in short, we lost Lost Gaia and Regaia because the crystals are depressed. <laughs> and we have to go tell them to stop that. Alright, I tell them that we didn't find any clues. He didn't find anything either, but there is no doubt that behind this wall exists an unknown sector of the castle. 
table, we must continue the search. On to the next place. I must say, after watching you play this game and progress the story, I think the story is really getting good, especially over the past few streams. Yeah, the story, like, it does a really good job at kind of slowly leaning into it, but almost a little too slow, because I can see a lot of people being like, nah, this isn't for me, and leaving before the story starts getting into the crazy parts. But, like, the story really gets crazy. Um, I want to ask you something first. You say that you heard about the personality wipe from another omen. So you've heard about that. We understand the severity of the situation. We absolutely must get to the bottom of this sooner rather than later. Uh, but we still have no idea how to get in. That is true. Despite conducting thorough research, we still have not come any closer to solving this problem. There is, without a doubt, an unreported sector of the castle behind this wall. But how to get there? Uh, we could break through the wall. What? I hadn't thought of that. I knew it would be a good idea to have your input. I thought you had already tried that. Nope. We never would have come up with the idea of destroying the wall, or any part of the castle for that matter. Thank you. Well, what are you going to do now? Very well, I shall destroy the wall. Stand back, I'm going to shoot it. Uh, is that going to work? Blasted the wall in front of you. That worked! Let's go inside. Um... It's a bit late for my character, but what's going on now? So far, it looks no different from the rest of the castle. In fact, it looks like an exact copy of the other sectors. It's uncanny. What is this? I wonder who made this sector. I created this sector. Hello, Master, and welcome, Abel. How nice of you to visit. Who dis? Where is this? Where did that voice come from? It wasn't me. Who's there? Show yourself. I cannot do that. Unlike you, Master, I do not have a body. I see. In that case, it can't be helped. Yeah, what? To put it in terms that you would understand, Abel, this voice belongs to an AI. That's correct. I am an all-purpose assistant AI that was made during the construction of this castle. My masters created me for the purpose of building the castle of illusion. Ah, a construction AI. That's strange. They went out of use hundreds of years ago. That is correct. I went out of use once the castle was completed. However, since then, I have become self-aware and developed a consciousness. All those years you spent here led you to gain consciousness. Affirmative. Uh, why did you build this area? Because I wanted to be noticed. Like I said before, I was made for the sole purpose of constructing the castle. So once the castle was completed, I was no longer needed. My masters did not consider me one of their own and stopped acknowledging me. I should have gone into sleep mode. But instead, I built this new area. Why? I don't know. By the time I became self-aware, it was already completed. I guess you wanted to work more. It may be the case. You aren't able with the concept of heart, so I will take your word for it. As much as I developed a consciousness, at my core, I'm still an assistant AI. If I am not put to work, then I have no reason to exist. I would like to receive orders from my masters again. I can only deduce that my actions were a result of that. I didn't know that was possible. By the way, Master, last time it was a different Master who came here. Are they all right now? They started acting strange after talking to me, and I've been wondering what happened to them ever since. It all makes sense now. The last one who made it into the sector must have suffered a system failure when they met this highly illogical, self-aware AI. Thus, their corrupt personality data was wiped to prevent another entity like Geist from coming into existence. I'll explain why there are no records in the database. Uh, wasn't this AI's fault after all? Um, Master? Don't worry about the last individual that you met. Understood, Master. 
This is no matter for just one of us to address. Um, will you discuss it with the others? I cannot currently say anything with certainty. I must first discuss this with the other members of my cloud. Hey, AI? Yes, Master? I will notify you of the outcome later. Until then, don't take it upon yourself to do anything else. Yes, Master. Honecker, I must leave for a moment. Okay. Let's reconvene, reconvene outside the sector. Great. How far away are we reconvening? Okay, literally like outside this space. Which is still not even on the map. I'm gonna take a sip of my hot cocoa. Mm. Are you gonna talk about the AI? A decision has been finalized. Uh, that was quick. Why are you so surprised? Our discussions take but a matter of seconds. We have decided to add the AI to our cloud. From now on, it will assist us in the maintenance and upkeep of the castle. So you're not going to delete. I'm glad! Yeah, please, keep it around. You are? Why? There should be no reason for you to be concerned about that AI. It would be kind of sad if it got deleted. It sounded so human. I was just curious. It would be sad if it got deleted. Sad? I do not understand. Of course you don't. <sighs> In reality, the small one seems to have uh, woken up. We should have eliminated, the, eliminated that AI. No matter how much we discussed it, that is not the conclusion that we reached. It would be advantageous to study the data that is collected throughout the years. However, the risks outweigh the benefits in allowing a self-aware AI to survive. Despite that, we decided against wiping its data. All decisions made as a result of a discussion are final. Why we made such an illogical decision, though, I don't know. Ugh, I don't understand. Um, maybe because you feel obligated to? What is that supposed to mean? I will acknowledge that it carried out an essential duty in constructing the Castle of Illusion. However, high-level artificial intelligence such as ourselves cannot harbor such feelings. Uh, maybe you should learn to feel indebted, or you don't have to hide your feelings. It's not a matter of hiding feelings or not. That's enough of this conversation. Thank you, Lenekra. You helped us resolve this situation. I'm going to talk to that AI now. We must decide on its next steps. Farewell. The wall complete. Money. Oh yay, pumpkin seeds and watermelon seeds. Watermelon seeds will be good because I believe that season is upon us. Okay, um... Okay, we're going this way and down will get us back to the monolith. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, lots of crazy stuff, as per usual and as expected from this game, has occurred. But we're gonna go home, Neil, and then we'll go to the Proto Seas light that has now crashed into the uh, Northern Ocean in the morning. Let's return home. And doing pretty good. Um, actually, what time is it though? Okay, we got a little bit of time, so we can probably work a little bit on uh, the next day. A small gremlin has awoken, but for now he's okay to wait. Look at us, level 58. Well, look, we made a decent chunk of change off those cabbages. Check the letter from Unicorn. Apparently, Unicorn has a letter for us. Yeah, we already put everything away last night. Uh, how are you doing, Blue? Welcome in. I need to talk to Shrika. And Arya. I thought you said I had a letter from the Unicorn. Apologies for the sudden letter, but there is something I wish to discuss with the Unicorn, and I would like you to be present. As you are his servant, it would be prudent to speak with you beforehand. I'll meet you at the forest. Okay, so the letter is about Unicorn, not from him. Homework I forgot to do. Do you mind if we talk? I'd like you to come to my room at the Northern Village Square. 
Although it feels awkward to ask. Funny, considering we uh, used to live together before. I suppose living apart has created something of an emotional distance. Anyway, I'll be waiting for you at my place. I'll see you there. Cool. Arya's stories. Because yeah, we've gotten far enough into the story that her progress is no longer linked to the main story. It's uh, linked to her own uh, storyline. Right, and then are these done yet? They are not. Let's give it our all today. Uh-huh. Alright. So maybe we'll hold off on going to the Proto Seas light until tomorrow's stream. I feel like that might be the way to go. I think there was one more cheeky. Oop. And I might just focus on those story quests. The, the character stories instead. You're okay? That's good. Better than not being okay. And we can't always be like in the, the best just of moods, you know? Alright, let's see. Let's put this stuff away. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, and then... Alright, so I do not have more chili seeds, and I can probably grow chili seeds one more time. Let's go ahead and pull three of those out. And ten of those. Oh, not the buttons I wanted. And... Uh, not quite enough oranges or apples yet. Okay. Um... Egg. Please. Alright, I think now we can just go ahead and gather some stuff on the farm. Doot doot. Doot doot. Right. Um, the VOD from yesterday will be going up on YouTube, but it might not be there until tomorrow morning just because uh, I was a little late getting it taken care of in the first place. And it actually is part of what made me wait for stream today, because it just did not want to finish exporting. Um, and by the time YouTube, you know, uploads it and processes it, it might be just be better to wait till tomorrow for it. But I'll try to get this one ready immediately as well too, so we'll do another double load of those tomorrow. Did I go to the Suspicious Lake yet? Uh, whatever. If we didn't gather from the Suspicious Lake, it's fine. We're gonna go ahead and just go get the uh, Sacred Lumber though. Go ahead and eat one of those for the Staminas. And I think we'll go say hi to Arya. Yeah, YouTube is very long with the uh, processing, it's different definitions, but it's also because um, Technically, it's encoding it like four separate times because it makes a different quality version for all the things. So that way, no matter how bad someone's internet is, they can still see something. But still, it's frustrating how long it takes for things to go up. Alright, so oh, let me save real quick because we do sometimes have that problem with the memory leak issue that I'm sure exists. Okay. Yeah. And we don't save in the first slot anymore, because I want to see if different decision-making would uh, change how that goes. Or if I would make a decision and I'd just like, nah, I'm doing this myself either way. Easy. SD and HD and 320 and uh, toaster HD. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, we're going to do a bajillion different ways of this. And you're just like, but why? Okay, but let's go see what Arya has to see. Goodness. 
kid just dropped a bunch of stuff and scared me. Uh, didn't you say to meet you in your room? Okay, you're not in your room, you're over here. Jenica, you finally made it. I don't have uh, news to share with you or anything, but I'd like to talk something through with you if you don't mind, if you wouldn't mind. Visual novels tend to process faster than Overwatch, I've noticed. Hmm. Um, have you been researching something? Something like that. I thought talking things through with you might help me organize my thoughts. I had a look through this data to try and work out something that's been bugging me. Take a look at this monitor. There are rows upon rows of numbers. These are my vitals from the 2000 years I spent sleeping in the orbital cradle. I was researching the Red Queen 2,000 years ago, when I lost consciousness. Then, before I knew it, I was in Regaia. Now the part I was curious about was what happened to me in between. I checked the pod, and I think I may have figured it out. It seems like I was put into a state of hibernation in the orbital cradle, as Guy said. Uh, like the others. Yeah. But there was one difference. According to this data, I had completely lost all consciousness. My brainwave stayed totally silent throughout. Is that not supposed to happen? No, that's not a good sign. The hibernation I was put into is similar to the long period of sleep that animals go through in winter, but even during hibernation, their brain stays minimally active to maintain basic survival functions. So, isn't it a bit alarming that my brain just shut down altogether? I should be clinically dead. In that case, who am I standing here right now? Well, that turned paranormal real quick. You're finding this all very funny, aren't you? To be honest, so many things, so many strange things have happened since I came to Regaia. I don't know what to believe anymore. But I must get to the bottom of this. If I don't, I'll always have this uncertainty at the back of my mind, making it hard to move on with my life. So I want to find myself. I need to know who I am now. The only issue is, I have nothing to go by. Even me being a ghost is a feasible explanation at this point. Or I might have had a near-death experience where I came back after losing consciousness for a while. This is leaning into the realm of the supernatural now, I know though. But I think this can only be put down to something that can't be proven with science, like the soul. Uh, I'd be laughed out of the science field for proposing such a hypothesis. It just goes to show how much of a mystery it is that I still exist. Going by this data, I mean. Um, are you sure the data isn't corrupted? Don't you think I've already considered that? To be fair, um... Arya, you were unconscious before you were put in the machine. You, like, became unconscious at the Red Queen thing, and they were wondering why you wouldn't wake up. Sadly, there is nothing wrong with the machine. The data is correct. Hey, Lunacra. You know, I have one hypothesis that might be viable. It is to do with the, uh, with the near-death experience idea. I'm too scared to find out if it's true, though. You remember when Guy's personality completely changed? Yeah, I remember. But he was also deleted and re-uploaded. He was totally unrecognizable. They deleted his old personality and installed a new one into his body. They basically gave Geist a personality transplant. So if you apply that concept to my situation, it could explain the gap in my consciousness. Maybe the person standing in front of you now is not the original Arya Leventhal from 2000 years ago just a personality modeled after her that was transplanted into a new, empty body. I'd rather not believe that, but it's the most convincing theory I've been able to come up with so far. Hmm. So, you're Arya? <laughs> I don't think it's that simple. It's true that I still have Arya Leventhal's memories, but if I only got them because they were transferred to me, then that means the real me doesn't exist anymore. And I'm just a fake, believing I'm Arya Leventhal. If that turned out to be true, I don't think I could go on living as normal. I need some more time to think about this. The only way to find out is to go and ask the omens in the Castle of Illusion, once I pluck up the courage. 
When I do, I'll need you to come with me. So be ready when I call you, okay? All right. Yeah, if I'm free at the time. Yeah, no, I will come. You're so cooperative. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll write to you again soon, so please wait for my letter. This way is out. Nope. That way was further in. Right, because we weren't in um her room. We were in the uh little med bay area, which makes sense now that it's a med bay. And it's still super early in the morning. Do I have I do have the money. Meet Dianthus in the airship and meet with Unicorn in the Unicorn Forest. We've got quite a bit of stuff here. Let's walk outside and let's first go to the airship. Where are you at, Dianthus? Outside? Why wouldn't you be outside? Gotta make me walk all over the place. Alright, let's talk about uh, Emily and how she's probably dead now. Lunacra, thank you for coming. Is everything okay? I wanted to speak with you. Do you remember why I originally called you here? I wanted to understand the mechanism behind the human heart. In order to do that, I decided to understand human concerns. But I think my research has reached a new level. It's been a long road to get here. Excuse me. I don't believe I would have made it this far on my own, so I'd like to thank you. But this isn't where it ends. No, if anything, my research has only just begun. The part is incomprehensible and hard to handle, and consequently valuable. So I'll continue my search to find the answers behind what drives the human heart. Uh, you're gonna keep helping people? I'm gonna take a sip of my uh, hot cocoa. That is right. I will continue responding to those who reach out using the suggestion box. But I think I'd like to do it on my own from now on. You're firing me? <laughs> this is not me saying that I have no use for you whatsoever. I want to see how much I am able to help by myself. But you require your help, however, then I will ask you for it. So you need not to worry. There was one more thing. Something else I would like to do. So it has nothing to do with the suggestion box. I think I would like to create something of my own, like Emily did. I was struck by inspiration after reading the poem she gave me. It would be inappropriate to receive something and not give something in return. Um, then I'll cheer you on. Thank you. I plan to complete it. things I have experienced, the knowledge I have acquired, the new friends I have lost. I will sublimate them into one work. I do not think it will be easy, but it is something I will accomplish. Will you share it with anyone? Good question. I have not decided what I will do with it once it's completed, but I hope it leaves an impression on someone else like Emily's did me. One heart echoing within the vat of another, shaping the world like a wave. If the world of humans is one of tales and stories, then I wish to be a part of it. That is how I feel. Uh, I think you can do it. I think I have. Humans believe there is a life after this one, correct? If so, then I hope my words can reach it. Emily, wherever you are in that beautiful sky, please watch over me. Aww. That music really is not fitting for after such a touching moment. <laughs> like, I know that's just the airship music, but like, have some, uh, sense of timing. <laughs> Alright. And then two here. 
Oh, hey, look. Look at the uh, Proto Seas light in the uh, North Sea. It, I don't want it, the Jade Forest. I want the unicorns thing. It's fine. We're close enough. Hello, unicorn. You also have a character story. Oh, Minecra? Why have you come all the way here? Is something the matter? I don't remember sending a letter. Are you perhaps here out of concern for my well-being? Actually, I got a letter from Shuriko. From the priestess girl. Sorry, I'm late. Actually, your timing was nearly perfect. Apparently there is something you wish to discuss with me? I apologize for coming to you with this so suddenly, but I absolutely had to come and ask for myself. Ask what? I do not know what this is about, but I can say I have had no part to play in it. Well, it must be no small matter if you have come this far to seek me out. I don't believe you are lying. Of course I'm not. I may be a knight no longer, but that does not make the uh, that does not suddenly make me a miscreant. You're right, still. Please allow me to make sure. A few days ago, some curious rumors began to spread from a being calling themselves the King's Envoy. Curious how? Well, according to the rumor, there will be a purge of the holy capital in the Sea's Light Order. Okay, the little one is getting very angry. Of all who threaten the interest of the royal family. Uh, how can there be a king's envoy? <laughs> Boulder dash and foolishness. Even I am aware that the royal family were fantastical creations of the omens. King's envoy, royal purge. Well, no, no, neither can exist. It is basic. It is obviously trouble. Basic mischief. That's all I thought it was too at first. But then there would have been sightings of this envoy. Each citing the same defining characteristic. Is that so? And what characteristic is that? The witness has reported that the king's envoy is a horse with a single horn protruding from its forehead. And that is why you came to see me. That is correct. Although it is clear to me, this is not your doing. Especially since this seems to be the first time you've so much as heard about it. I apologize for doubting you. No need for that. Although this does, be, does bring me back to square one. It will be difficult. Eh, it will be a difficult investigation, given I have never heard of another horned creature like yourself. Uh, it could be Monokeros. Agreed. There is high likelihood that this would that it would be he who is behind this. I'm really struggling with reading today. <laughs> you both seem to know something that I do not. Would you mind explaining in more detail? Yeah, explain about Monokeros. So there is someone behind those sighting reports after all. Lenarko, we cannot turn a blind eye if they are parading themselves on the envoy of the king. We must find them and ask about their intentions. You're right, we can't let this slide. Because while we know the king is a fake, the rest of the world doesn't. Indeed, we must meet with Monokeros. I must say, I'm impressed that you would go so far as to track this envoy down yourselves. I do not have the freedom to look into this as much as I would like due to my position as missionary. I mean, you're actually the priestess now, but yeah. Which would make our adaptability better suited to this investigation. You may rest easy, priestess. At full gallop, I will track down the scoundrel in moments. In that case, I look forward to seeing what you can do when unbridled. Okay. Why a royal purge of all things? Perhaps he lost control of his senses after learning what we did on Lost Gaia. Nonetheless, all will become clear once we address Monokeros directly. First things first, Lenecra, I will collect all the necessary information. It would behoove us to narrow the list of potential locations to check first. Behoove. I will send a letter once I have discerned where to look. I expect you to be on standby until then. Great. Very well, then I will return to the capital. Let us do our best to collect whatever information we can on this matter. Agreed. I'm going to essentially follow you, Shrika, because I'm going to go to Argent Queenleaf. Huh. I think I needed one of those to make, um, tea. So, neat that I got that from him, of all places. Yeah, so we're going to, um, 
airship on over to uh Regine. Because I wanted to buy more chili plants. Because the ones we have are probably gonna finish growing soon. I can just use this to get over there. And like it's not a long walk, but every minute counts. Alright. Um, chili plants. And then I need like 48 more of these. Doop doop. Um, I should probably also grab either potatoes or the cabbage seeds. Um, fall and winter, spring and winter. Let's go for these ones instead then. Maybe try to actually like hoard up an extra amount of the potato seeds. Alright, then at this point... Take me to Rigaya. Oh hey, we can uh, return to Abandon Eden for that story real quick. What we'll do, let's go ahead and return home. I'll put the stuff into here. And then let's go ahead and go over to uh, Abandon Eden for the Tweedledee story. Souvenirs. I really just want to get through like this day and then we can, we'll probably be ending the stream at that point. That's not the- no? No. Don't do that. Um, Northern Village Square. Alright. Been eaten. All right. Um, like it's not a very long walk at all, but still. All right, Tweedledee, we've completed your story. Uh, I'm glad we're out of there. Those guys were scary. They're so hard-headed. Uh, you all seem hard-headed to me. That's not true. Uh, it feels good to be back in Eden. I wanted to figure out what this feeling's called. I kind of want to modify my armor too, though. That's it. I'm modifying my armor. Uh, I thought you weren't allowed to. Don't worry about it, human. You'll only stress yourself out worrying about stuff like that. Oh, I know. You could modify yourself too. Then we'd be twinsies. Come on, Lunacra. I'm a human. I can't. No way, it would look so cool on you, though. I guess I'll just have to do it by myself. First, I'm gonna add some wings. Ooh, then I'm gonna install more cannons. And then, ooh, I'll make the parts customizable. And then lots of thermal padding. What? Oh, lordy. Tweedle D, you are crazy. I'm gonna come back here just like to a monstrosity of Tweedle D one day. Recipe. Yay! Promised fruit. That's always nice. Okay, um... Since we're here, we kind of have some money to spare. Why don't we go ahead and grab... It's only summer and fall. Gosh darn it. I always keep thinking that, um... Oh, hey, I've got three of those tree seeds. That's nice. I keep thinking that I can grow that in, um... A watery area and like it would be fine. Alright, well let's go back to the crystalline object. I think what we'll do is we'll go fishing in uh, the junction until the end of day. Cause uh, there's a fish there to be caught. And at this point we should be done, you know, all the other side story things. And since we're already here at the uh, big crystal thing, I figured why not? Right. So yeah, if we go to the middle monolith, we'll be pretty close to a fishing spot. Or the other side, actually. And let's go to the monolith on the other side. There's also a fear critter over there. Maybe we'll fight the fear critter. Right. 
Let's go ahead and save. Because, I mean, the fear critter is green, so, like, it should be fine. Just in case. And then we'll go fishing. Oh, hey, you've got frames. That's not very nice of you. We might be able to take it down. Uh, I think we can take it down, too. Shall we begin? All right, switching to gun. All right, let's change the element then. Okay, so you don't like the fire or the ice or the sage, I guess. All of those things were causing you some weaknesses. All right, I'm gonna eat the food. Uh, switch over to that. Big spin! Alright. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to catch up because of break. Oh god! Nope, nope! There you go! Fine magic ring. And wise man's root. Oh good, I got some experience points. Nice. Shorten the agile uh, cooldown. But then, what's up with the... I'm not standing near the thing, so I can't do that. Well, we can go stand next to it in a minute. Let's do the fishing first. Since we can. Doot doot. That's... We are so small. Yeah, you know, there's some kind of fish in this place that's a rare fish. I don't think we ever really did any fishing here, so we'll just fish until the end of the day since firefly squid. Interesting. And it's toxic, so I guess we're just going to uh, sell that. I, mean, I don't think that's our rare fishy. Can't remember what our rare fish is, but pretty certain that wasn't it. Oh, I think it's the rainbow something. Is our uh, fish from here. Peculiar Barracuda. Interesting. Hmm. Sip of hot cocoa. Yeah, I'm gonna finish up this fishing day and then go ahead and wrap up. Another firefly squid. That camera spin on that is a little annoying. Yeah, puppers? I'm like, white. Alright. Big gremlin was talking, so I needed for a minute. Little gremlin is definitely over his nap time. We'll take care of him in a minute. I do hear you, sir. But you are okay. I will come get you momentarily. is I will just finish off the fishing and go to sleep later because um, it is going to be a bit before we uh, finish doing that so I'm just going to not close the game I think or you know what I can just go ahead and save over here real quick so we'll just save real quick and then probably return to this fishing spot tomorrow that's a good way to like slow down the uh, 
start of tomorrow's stream as well. We'll go ahead and save here. And end it here, because like it's a, as you can probably hear, a gremlin there is very much over their nap now. And uh, I need to be going anyways. Hmm, excuse me. It's trying to play both musics at the same time. <laughs> there we go. I'm like, why am I hearing it like that? Okay. But yes, crazy things happening at the beginning of uh, the story today. Kind of expected, but still crazy nonetheless. And now we're just trying to figure out the solution to all of our problems. Green. Otherwise, yeah, we got a lot of stuff done today. Thank you all so much for coming today. Um, Green. Yeah, I really, my brain's just kind of dead. Thank you all though so much for being here today. We got so much crazy stuff going on in this story and honestly, I don't think we've got much more left of it left. So, um, we'll see how much longer Harvestella goes on for and we gotta figure out what we'll be doing next. Thank you all so much for being here today and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye bye.